We use iGel in all of our critical point of care area for patients as the endpoint OS to secure the endpoint, but also provide a reliable system to for our providers to connect into our EUC environments um, to treat patients. iGel brings the most value to our organization in a couple ways. One is by securing our endpoints and helping insulate us from a ransomware attack in the event if something were to happen, these endpoints, we don't have to worry about recovering them. But more importantly, it has helped optimize workflows for our providers, which translate into more efficient care and, and treatment of patients. Uh, we had one example with our Nuance Power Mics to coming through a Windows endpoint. They couldn't perform two workflows at once. The introduction of iGel and running the Power Mic through iGel allowed them to do two workflows at the same time, thus optimizing what they did and reducing the amount of time it took to perform that specific workflow. We've deployed what was in scope for iGel endpoints. Now when our teams on boots on the ground are supporting our end users, if they run into an issue with some of the Windows endpoints that are still out there, now what they're doing, they're not troubleshooting it, they're converting it to iGel. iGel has helped us from a cost saving standpoint as it allows us to run hardware a lot longer than if it had a more bloated operating system, say like Windows. You know, transition from Windows 10 to 11 had a lot of different hardware requirements that drives cost. iGel, I can run this on hardware for a lot longer, thus the hardware refresh cycles are extended out um, and, and it provides a significant cost savings when you have thousands or tens of thousands of those endpoints in your environment. You have resource savings, you, the time to deploy the endpoints, the disruption to the users while swapping out the endpoints is significant. So you're not just saving on hardware costs, you're saving on deployment time, you're saving on production downtime, so increasing productivity. iGel's approach with the preventative security model is great from a couple angles. We originally looked at iGel and, and wanted to deploy iGel as our endpoint because we could protect our VDI environment or easily refresh it if there was a ransomware attack. The endpoints are not usable. They don't have any, they can't connect to anything. This prevents our endpoints from being vulnerable, but also in those scenarios where there might be a ransomware attack, we are now planning to have iGel UDP pockets on hand. So we don't have to worry about recovering non-VDI endpoints quickly to get back up and operational. We could deploy a UDP pocket, boot that immediately, and then have traditionally non-VDI users now connect to a VDI desktop and be able to be working within minutes, not hours or days at each workstation as we go through that recovery process. iGel Disrupt compared to other conferences is, is great from two factors. It's one, it is EUC geared, uh, but you're not only bringing vendors and different products together under one roof, uh, because VDI is, is and virtually EUC is an ecosystem. It's not one product, it's the accumulation of multiple products to deliver a platform or a solution. But you get multiple vendors there that all work together but you also get different folks from the industries that you're in also here so you can talk to other people how did you use it how did you solve this challenge the other events don't have the right people there or they're too large that you don't get the opportunities um, to mingle you get to see everything under one roof and it is the unparalleled EUC conference in my opinion with running iGel it impacts us because iGel is not agnostic to one EUC platform. So as organizations choose to deploy multiple different EUC um, options, like say Windows 365, AVD, Citrix Horizon, you have a, a endpoint OS that can connect and work with all of these different um, EUC options out there. So as we go to that more hybrid approach to find just like anything in cloud, you need to find the right workload for the right use case. This will allow you to have multiple EUC platforms deployed, but still use the same OS and have that same OS use your other tools like Improvada against all these different environments.